Thanks for joining us for Way 31 News at 5. I'm Dan Schaefer. We're going to begin tonight with doctors across Alabama who are left without answers. The Human Life Protection Act makes it illegal for anyone to perform an abortion in Alabama unless the woman's health is at serious risk. But what are those defined medical risks? Way 31's Olivia Schuler joins us live after speaking with an attorney. And Olivia, what does the law define as a reasonable medical emergency? Hey, Dan, well, that's part of the issue. The statue is very vague and doctors may now be trying to determine what exactly categorizes as a medical risk or emergency. Medical providers are unfortunately forced with making split second decisions about what is in the best interest of the patient. But now that split second decision comes with an unimaginable risk. You never want a medical professional to be staring down the possibility that it, what their judgment does results in a felony charge and could you know, remove their license or put them in jail. Vagueness in the law, forcing medical professionals to make a judgment call. The, the statute says that a medical emergency is a condition which in a reasonable medical judgment uh, would affect the life or safety of the mother. But no specific injuries, illnesses, or conditions are mapped out for doctors in the Human Life Protection Act. We're trying to interpret something that there may not be a consensus in the medical community uh, to determine what that is. Every second day, week where the law is unclear, there's medical risk not only for mothers and babies, but also for doctors. So you're trying to make the best judgment call that you can in, in any situation and to compound that with the possibility of being charged as a felony if someone believes you made the wrong call, you know, it's untenable. Timberlake says there should be an outline for medical professionals to eliminate the risk of a wrong call. I think what you're going to need here is you're going to need the, the hospital personnel, the doctors and the district attorneys and maybe the attorney general to get together and really give this law some clarity. A way to ultimately provide a level of comfort to doctors. But for now, doctors may be scrambling, reaching out to criminal lawyers in fear of losing a license they worked years to get. I am certain that medical providers and hospitals are going to reach out to criminal lawyers and ask them for their interpretation of this law and what they can do to try to prevent their physicians from being convicted of a felony offense. Timberlake says it's a little concerning just how much medicine and law have now integrated. He's calling on medical professionals and even the attorney general to get together and outline exactly what those medical emergencies and risks are. Now, I reached out to the attorney general's office asking if they had any plans to set up a meeting with medical providers and have yet not heard back. Reporting live in Huntsville, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News.